All right, let me get this done for you folks. So, I've always had hang on the back filter. Work just fine, clean the filter once every couple weeks, replace the filter once every month, and you know, you're good to go. Cool, whatever. I've put these nine fish together, and there's a pleco usually hides in the treasure chest over there. Um, the pleco obviously does his job eating algae and stuff like that. That's what he was there for. Does a great job doing it, too. Um, the other fish, I guess you could say the 30-gallon tank might be slightly overstocked. Especially with the comets being so active and wild and crazy when the fancies aren't so much. Well, this is the tank that I have. This is the fish that I have, and I'm not getting another tank today. When I can find a good deal on a 55 to 75 gallon tank, I will pick it up and put the comets in there. They'll stay in there until they really outgrow that, and then I will make myself a pond in my yard. I do live in Florida, so I don't have any real worry about temperature. We don't get too cold too often. Um, so, uh, you know, the pond will be pretty good out here. Um, my only concern with the pond is heat, is I know we get 90 degree water sometimes. You can go to the beach, or you can go to a lake, you can go to a swimming pool that's not even heated and the water is 88, 90 degrees. So, uh, my concern is heat with a pond. But anywho, that's not what we're talking about now. Um, hang on the back is always what I used. Well, I noticed that being the fact that I'm so heavily stocked, so to say, um, I may have to do something better in the form of filtration. So I started looking into other forms, and I'm not a big fan of the whole sponge air bubble thing. It, it just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't seem like it's a good enough system whatsoever, in my opinion. So anyway, maybe that in addition to something like what I've got, or just a regular hang on the back would be great, but solely just a air bubbler through a sponge, I don't, I don't see how that's going to work out very well. Anywho, so I decided to look into under gravel filtration systems. We've been using under gravel filtration for decades, hundreds of years. I mean, really, honestly, under gravel is great. You could take river water, lake water, you could take crappy water and run it through a sand charcoal filter or a gravel filter of one kind or another and end up with clean, clear water, drinkable water. You may have to boil it for a few minutes just to get whatever extra impurities are out of it, but gravel filtration is number one. It, it's great. It really is. So in my case, being I have a 30 gallon tank, I have a large under gravel filtration system. I already mentioned I don't like the whole air lift, air tube, air bubble, sponge system. I just don't think it's enough. So, when you get an under gravel filtration system, it's like this here. It's this plate, or two plates. This is for a 10 gallon, so uh, it won't work in this tiny little thing that I got, and that's why it's still sitting here, but whatever. These here are your carbon filters or whatever. Your air tube goes down in here, you put gravel on top of the plate, your air is pulling water to fill, to, is pulling the water as the air is coming up, the air is actually lifting water, it's lifting the water from here, but it's lifting from under the plate. The plate has all of your gravel on it. So your water is coming down from here, your, water, your air lifts your water up the tube, goes through the carbon, and then drops down into the water. Now, the water being dropped down, your water's pushing all of your bacteria or your poop and all the other garbage through the rocks. The rocks are filtering it, and then it's being sucked up from the underside and brought up and recirculated and cycled that way. All right. So that seems like a great system, which it really is. It's fabulous. I think that it's not enough. Doesn't make sense. We have bio bag filters that draw suction from the system. As you see, the bio tube is only so long. And then you have your little filter you could put on the bottom of it, your sponge you put on the bottom of it with your little doohickey so fish can't get sucked into it, uh, which is great. All your bio crap is kept here. 
and then brought back down. So you still have a good ecosystem. Everything is flowing and you got your aeration through all your bubbles. It works. My little fish keep knocking my plants out. Anyway, so I decided why in the world not hook up my hang on bio system to my under gravel. So now my bio system is sucking from under the gravel. So the gravel is still working as filtration. It's pulling the water up through here, going into the bio system, and then dumping back out. Well, because, as you see, these things have two tubes, one usually on either side. It still had one aerator system in it. I got rid of the other one. This is a 30-gallon tank that's a 20 to 40-gallon Aquatech. I decided to add a 10 to 20-gallon Aquatech to the other side. So now I've got two hang-on systems filtering through under the gravel. I had the tank going like this for four or five weeks and then decided for the heck of it to take the siphon vacuum and siphon whatever little bit of stuff was in the rocks, the gravel. Um, and I was like after four or five weeks or something like that, maybe three or five, three to five weeks, somewhere in there, I, I cycled, cycled it. I took out about four or five gallons worth of water and put in, you know, five gallons worth of spring water. I don't fill my tanks with tap water. Tap water's garbage, especially here. There's all kinds of chlorine chemicals and treatments and blah, blah, blah. So I just use bottled spring water. It costs 80 something cents for a gallon jug of it, but it's easier. It's a lot more simple to deal with. And it's like almost ready, like literally ready. You set up a new tank, you set up your new tank, you have your filter run for like 12 hours. Uh, you even take out like the filter from one of these, since it already has a little bit of bio, put it on a brand new tank, let it run for like 12 hours, and bam, throw your fish in it, and they are happy as can be. I'm not kidding you. So that's what I've done for filtration. Um, it tends to work. It tends to work out really, really, really well. I mean, heaven's sakes, it works out well enough that the tank is so clear I could read everything that's there you know look through the tank long ways and all you see is air bubbles air bubbles and fish <laughs> air bubbles and fish it's great it really does look beautiful it works um, once I can find a bigger tank some hyper fast crazy comets are coming out of there and uh, that's it for now I guess